In this video, we'll see the fifth point. If you relate to the very first video of set theory, then I told you the important five topics which I'll be covering in the next videos. That is the type of set that I have already explained. Next is Venn diagram, uh, then set operation, laws of uh, algebra offset and the last one is the finite infinite set and the counting principle so we'll see what is a finite set finite set means which has certain number of elements or you can say countable elements so what do you mean by countable elements if I say let a is a set where I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can count the number of element which is present here. Let me take another element that is B which is um, 0, 1, 2 up to N. So you don't know what is the limit, right? You don't know oh, how many elements are there or I can say let it be infinity. You can't count this, right? So this comes under infinite set. So what is infinite set? Infinite set is uh, which contain uncountable elements where the elements cannot be count and it can goes up to infinity. Okay. The next we'll see counting principle. Counting principle is uh, to count the total number of elements present in the given sets. Okay. So normally we have some formula. Let me take one example like using the Venn diagram. If you have two sets A and B, this is A, this is B and uh, let me take another Venn diagram that is A and B. So what you can see here, the difference is here the sets are disjoint. But here the sets are not disjoint it means they have some common element what do you mean by disjoint disjoint in the sense no common element but here you can say these are joint or non disjoint there is no particular name for it so uh, it has some common element but here you don't have any common element so in such case, in the first case, if you want to find out A union B, so what will be the total value or I can say the total number of element present when you are uh, performing the operation A union B. So what will be the total number of element? That will be the number of element present in A and the number of element present in B. So that will be the total number of element when you perform the operation A union B. But when you comes to this one, here if you are performing a union b you can see there are some common elements so the formula is a plus b minus a intersection b okay so normally they ask the question for this one they will not give you that a and b they have some common element find out the count find out the number of element present in uh, a and b uh, using the counting principle they will not give you the direct question we'll see what kind of question they give first let me tell you the formulas so the main formula is A union B equal to uh, number of element in A, number of element in B minus intersection B. So what is this mod? Mod means number of element. I have already told you in the previous video. This you have to remember. Mod means number of element. Mod means number of element. This you have to remember. And... Uh, when you perform one operation union uh, and you want to know how many total elements are there after performing the union operation this is the formula and if you want to know the intersection value then you can take it in the opposite direction you can take it here so that depends on you this is for two set if you have three set that is a union b union c then that will be a plus b plus c minus a intersection b minus b intersection c minus a intersection c plus a union b union 
sorry plus a intersection b intersection c okay so what you can see here is single values are uh, having plus symbol the double values intersection are having minus again triple intersection are having plus so when you will be having a union b union c union d then it will be all single values will be plus plus 4 plus will be there then 4 minus second second inter intersection i can't say that 4 because if you have 4 you can take intersection of this 2 this 2 this 2 then this 2 then this 2 so it will be for um for uh, two intersection you should have minus for three intersection you should have plus again for the last one you should have minus of a intersection b intersection c intersection d so this is the formula